guys, my name is Shay Jones, and I am here with, let's put some respect on the name of Emmy winner Tracy Thompson and Emmy winner Charles Pratt Jr. Because they are the creators and showrunners and exec producers of Secrets of Sulphur Springs. Now, my first question is from Miss Tracy. What was your inspiration behind this show? Because this show is definitely unlike most Disney Channel shows that have been on this channel. I think uh, the inspiration was I wanted to do a show that uh, reminded me of my childhood, you know, movies that I loved when I was a kid, Goonies, Back to the Future, you know, those kind of things that mystery, adventure, wish fulfillment, but they were kind of based in reality a little bit and uh, something fun that kids and parents could watch together. Like it's a new obsession for me watching this show. I think I'm detective um, while I am watching. It is such an amazing thing now for Mr. Charles because you guys have been working together over the years. Like I wanna say a couple of decades has been now for you guys. Oh How my God. To unite <laughs> and take this new journey together. Um, well, I first met Tracy when she was an intern on General Hospital, and I was the head, one of the two head writers, and um, I noticed she was an intern sitting out at a computer in a reception area where no one ever came. I mean, it was it was the most ridiculous place, and I noticed on her computer she was writing. She was writing stuff, so uh, I went up and introduced myself and said, do you want to be a writer, and she was a graduate student, and um you know, it, it just clicked and she just moved right up the ladder from continuity to writer to script writer, outline writer. And then uh, I guess all my children was the first time uh, I brought her in as the co-executive producer when I went over there. And I'm sure glad I did because it was, you know, it wasn't the friendliest atmosphere and I needed I needed a cohort and a partner. And um, and then, uh, you know, off and on, you know, when one of us is available, we 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 call each other up and and bring them over. And I think on this one, you know, this I have a lot of primetime experience. And so Tracy needed that backup, you know, with single camera and um, location shooting and all of that. And it's been it's been a joy. It's a, it's allowed me to keep my career going and keep writing and um uh, and directing again, which has just been a passion on this show because they're also talented, <laughs> uh, especially Kylie. Um, and and uh, it 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 I think we we work together well. You know, we work together with a staff of writers, but uh, you know, we we almost finish each other's sentences, right, Tracy? Yeah, we we have a, a shorthand that makes plotting the show easier. Uh, I know what his sensibilities are. He knows what mine are. So when we're in a room with other writers, we can not almost read each other's minds, but I know if he's going to like an idea, if he's not going to like an idea, because we have worked together for so long. And I think that's what helps make the show because we have the same vision for it. I love that. And I just have one last question. Now, if you guys were stuck in a year, what year would you want to be stuck in? Yeah. Wow. Well, I've lived a lot of the years, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. God, that's a great question. That is a really great question. Um, I'd say 1966. Very specific. Go ahead. Why? Well, it was. It was. It was. You know how old am I when I'm, when I'm that, that's important. Am I, am I 11 years old? Am I 12 years old? Am I, uh, I think, you know, as a teenager with the Vietnam war and everything that I was experiencing as a, you know, like the age of our audience, you know, 13, 14, um, the world was changing drastically on a lot of different levels. And, uh, 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 and changing and, and, you know, evolving. Uh, and it was exciting to be a young person then, you know, exciting and scary because, because, you know, it was generation against generation. But, um, you know, someone said to me the other day, you know, like in your life, or like, what was the most significant thing that you experienced, you know, and I thought, <laughs> in your youth, and I said, the moon landing, I watched it, you know, 
and I saw the guy and I re remember thinking, this is the most significant thing ever. And it really, and I think everything that's happened, you know, wars, 9-11, you know, you name it. There was something about the country in 1969 when that took place that, um, you know, if I was stuck, I'd love to go back to that before cell phones and the, you know, in the, in the creation of rock music and, you know, the beginning of, uh, of, uh, music that lasts to this day and will continue for all time. So anyway, that was a long answer. Tracy, when would you like to be stuck in? I think if anything, I would like to take someone with me back in time to probably when, I don't know, early, maybe 90 early, like the show, um, my oldest nephew reminds me so much of my brother when he was that age. And, you know, when you're 11 and 12, you start to butt heads with your parents. And I wish that I could take him back to see his father, my brother back then and be like, you guys are so much alike and how life was. And they're, they have the same interests and it would just be cool for my nephew, I think, to see what it was like not having, as Chuck said, all the technology. Cause so much now they're all in video games and everything else. And you want them to see what where you could go outside and run out until dark and your mom whistled for you to come home. You know, it was just a simpler time in some ways and others. Um, but I think, yeah, I'd want to take my nephew back to when my, his father was young. Well, it's interesting. How both answers, but unfortunately we do have to wrap up. I want to talk to you guys so much more because nobody is ready for season two. I've seen the first two episodes and I'm not even ready <laughs> but I can't thank you guys enough for your creation behind the show because it is so amazing. And thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you. Oh, thank you.